Thank you for checking out this video. Uh, it is an update to the Cicero Pillow Review that is not an update to the Cicero Pillow Review. Uh, we are also going to be talking about a new product and I'm going to be uh, unboxing, unbagging that product as well. But I did want to come back to a topic from that video. If you haven't checked out the Sutero Pillow Review, uh, then you don't know my thoughts on that product, but you can check that out right here. But one of the things I brought up during that review is the fact that the pillow gets these pellings and lint on it that make it look really dirty, even though it's not dirty. I literally washed the cover of this pillow last night. And despite that, it still has this like vaguely dirty look. And because this is the cover of the pillow, not the pillow itself, it's unfortunate that uh, it doesn't really fit another pillow case. It's hard to hide. It's something that people are gonna see when it's sitting right on your bed. So I wanted to figure out how to take care of this situation. I suggested in that video a lint shaver I haven't been able to find one of those. Uh, there were some great suggestions in the comments of that video about using a razor or using some other things to try to take care of it. I tried that uh, on some little spots just to see if it would work, but I was really concerned about damaging the cover because as far as I know, you cannot get a replacement cover. You have to just buy another pillow. And although this is an excellent pillow, I did not want to spend another $60 on a pillow just to get another cover. So I thought maybe I can find something like a lint shaver. Uh, searches on Google for lint shaver brought up some interesting things. If you'd like, you can search for that yourself. But uh, instead what I did was look for lint and lint products and uh, much as this happens all the time, uh, I didn't find anything, but very soon Instagram came to the rescue because Instagram ads know you better than yourself. And uh, once again, I made the mistake of purchasing something from an Instagram ad. Is it really worth the price? I pay it gladly. So I'll be honest with you and say I don't 100% remember the name of the company that I bought this product from. Um, it's not on the outside of the bag that it came in, uh, but uh, I know that this is a solution to all of my lint problems, or is alleged to be anyway. So we're gonna see right now whether or not that is true. So a couple of things I can tell you about it. Uh, I'm gonna tell you the company name as soon as I open the box and remember what it is. Uh, but uh, if you've ever been victimized by an Instagram ad, sometimes you've been in the same position that I have where package shows up and you're like, oh yeah, I bought that thing and totally forgot. Uh, but what is supposed to be included in this is all of your lint care needs, uh, whether it's gonna be for your clothes, uh, for pet hair, for products like uh, your sheets, like hoodies, or uh, like a pillow which uh, is one of the usage that's actually on the website, which also lets me know that Instagram uh, knows me better than I know myself. So uh, I have taken the pre-action of actually blacking out my address this time. If you watched uh, any of the previous reviews, you know that I completely forgot to do that and had to do it afterwards. So uh, thank you guys for not stalking me. Nonetheless, uh, let's go ahead and crack into this bot bag and uh, we're gonna see what we have right here. Inside of the first bag, we have, surprise, surprise, yet another bag. And there are actually a couple of separate bags uh, with different things in them, it looks like. Code 423. I don't remember 423 meaning anything specifically. I assume that that means it is a uh, intern on the code. So uh, this is one of the things about buying stuff from Instagram ads is it gets there in a reasonable time. I believe that the delivery time was sometime between seven and 10 days for this. Perfectly reasonable, not as fast as Amazon, but again, you're not buying from Amazon. Uh, but then the difficulty is remembering exactly what it is you got. Uh, but let's just dive in and take a look. So uh, I do remember it had to do with lint because it was a solution to the pillow. And here we go. First things first, the lint remover. Now, if again, you did not know what a lint shaver is, this is exactly what I was thinking of. My mother had one of these when I was growing up. We didn't have the lint rollers that you guys have, that we all have now, where you think about having the paper that's sticky that takes lint off your clothes. If we wanted to take lint off clothing, we used this. Uh, the one that we had actually plugged in, this is a battery, but uh, you run it on your clothes and there's some razors inside to take the lint off. Let's go ahead and pop the box open. By the way, I'm always a huge fan of boxes with the picture of what is on it or what's in it on it. Not a box you can reuse because obviously you don't want to like put stuff in it with a picture of what's on it. But I remembered immediately 
shopping, buying this product when I saw the picture on the outside. Uh, it's just, uh, I think it's good, good practice. So if you have a business, consider putting the picture on the outside of the box. I think it makes things a lot, a lot simpler. All right, so here we go. Uh, this is a lint shaver. Um, some of you may be taken back to the late 80s, the early 90s, where we had uh, smaller versions of these, but they were, again, they're charged by, uh, by cord rather than uh, by battery. Uh, and there was also a much bigger version of this. I almost remember my mom running like an iron sized one of these over quilts and blankets, but uh, it's got a little protective case on the outside. Uh, I don't know how well everybody's gonna be able to see this, but uh, there's like a uh, protective layer and inside are three razor blades. And the three razor blades spin across the surface, they take off the pillings and the lint, and it's supposed to be pretty amazing. So I guess we'll see how that works out. It also comes with the charger. It is charged by USB uh, and a micro uh, USB on the other end and a brush so that you can brush out the lint and the pillings from uh, the end when you're done. Apparently it also comes with directions, although the directions seem to be in standard Chinese, which may not be helpful for me. Literally the entire, oh wait, no. Okay, we do have some English directions, but the vast majority of them are in Mandarin. Um, but there's pictures, so I'm sure we'll be able to figure it out. It'll be fine. So the lint shaver is why I got the product. Obviously that was what I was looking for, but the lint shaver itself was about $22. And then for, I think 35, it's like another 15. It came with another kit with other stuff. Uh, I don't use it as often as I should, but I do use a little lint rollers uh, that have the sticky paper on the outside. They run you up about $7 for a two pack. There's a hundred sheets on that. So figure that you run through, uh, I don't know, 10 of those in a year and maybe even more um, if we start going out again, which we probably will in the next few weeks and months, then uh, I'm gonna use even more of those. And uh, the cost just made sense to try out their product that's an alternative to uh, those lint rollers that have the uh, sticky paper. So let's see what uh, that looks like. And this is also one of the reasons that I was digging the product is that it came with like a little travel bag Lint Rolled is the name of the company. There we go. I remembered it now. Uh, I didn't remember. I read it off the bag. But Lint Rolled is the name of the company. Uh, and uh, they produce a lot of products in dealing with lint. So uh, this is the travel bag uh, that you are supposed to take in your uh, suitcase with you. Although I'm like 90% sure it's made of copper. So it'll probably go off with the um, scanner. And I don't know that that's necessarily a good thing. But um, let's just take a look at their actual Lint Roller. So yeah, uh, it's got these uh, these copper wires bound around a piece of metal. And essentially the goal here would be to act just like that sticky paper, except for it's cleaning it off. Uh, once again, you can use a wire brush to clean the lint off of it. I don't know. I guess we'll see how it's gonna work. I, I probably will try both of these on the Sotera pillow because that's really the, the major issue I have right now. But I mean, I there is lint on the, uh, there's lint on the uh, the thing, so I see that it's coming off. I don't know how well it's doing on the actual shirt. Also, uh, I think these have a direction. Like you're supposed to use them only in one direction. I think I could see a line where I just took the lint off and I didn't. So hey, uh, functional, and at least at its base form works. So uh, we'll see how it works on a bigger project, I guess. Last but not least, we'll see what's in this last bag. I remember them being a, another yet another product that was part of this like travel package that the, all of these were part of. All right, so the final bit of this package was a, an actual like lint comb, which is a more simplified version of the larger, uh, I guess, lint roller. And then that's an even more simplified version of the lint shaver. So one is powered, obviously. One is uh, just a roller that's supposed to be for bigger stuff. And then you have a lint comb, which is supposed to be for smaller stuff. If I remember correctly from the advertising, this lint roller is also supposed to work really well on carpets, uh, carpets that have pet hair in them. So I don't have a pet. So I can't really test out that part of it, but we can test it on other stuff. Uh, we can take a look though at the lint comb. Again, I see some lint in the uh, actual comb itself. So 
I also have questions about how clean my shirt is getting. Uh, this is probably like two years old. It may just be ripping out threads. I can't say for sure, but I can say that it's doing something. So I guess we're gonna have to see how it works on actual pillings and on, uh, on lint. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna take a quick break right here and then uh, be back with this Terra pillow and we're gonna take a look right at it and see how it works. All right, so a uh, bit of good news, uh, lint roller shaver. Uh, lint rolled, sorry, lint rolled shaver comes with some charge, so we didn't even have to wait to charge it. Uh, you'll be able to use it straight out of the box if yours comes in the same status as mine did. You'll recognize, obviously, the Sutera pillow uh, with the familiar uh, pillings and lint. So we're gonna give it a go and see how well it works. I have, honestly, more confidence at this point about the lint roller itself than I do about the shaver, but uh, I know this is meant for uh, couches and that kind of stuff. I'm hoping that it works just well on the pillow. Let's see. So I tried to count in my head. Uh, I think that was about 30 seconds worth of using the lint shaver. Uh, you can see this half of the pillow has been done and it's relatively clear of the lint and the pilling. So, I mean, it works. <laughs> it's a really simple product. It's existed for a very long time. Lint Rolls product actually works, uh, being charged out of the box. Uh, again, I believe it was about $22 for this. You can get the full set for $35. Uh, delivery took about seven to 10 days. Uh, I live in Los Angeles, so uh, I think it was coming uh, from the East Coast. If you're on the East Coast, it might be a little closer than that. So uh, we're now, I'm now gonna, I do wanna try the other two and just see how well they work. So I'm gonna kind of divide the other half into quarters. We're gonna use a lint roller on one quarter of them and see how well that goes as well. All right, so uh, kind of my worry about the razor was that I was gonna get some pulls and uh, that it would actually pull out the cover. And it looks like I had that problem with the lint roller. Uh, so it, this did actually come with an uh, instruction card. It said to use at 90 degree angle uh, if it was something delicate and to use at like a 45 degree angle with more pressure if it was something that was like a little tougher. So I did have it at the 90 degree angle. It still looked like it pulled just a little bit. I'm gonna run uh, the shaver a little bit and see if I can clean up this section. And so they actually did a halfway decent job of cleaning up the poles as well. So um, obviously I still think the lint shaved section much cleaner than uh, the section that was used to the lint roller. But uh, on the shirt itself, the lint roller did a fantastic job. So I think maybe the determination here is going to be the lint versus the, the pillings and uh, how to treat those. But we still have one bit left, the little comb. So we're going to use this on this last section and see how that goes. So honestly, a uh, smaller version of the lint roller, still not as successful, still some pullings, not pillings, but it's pulling out some of the, uh, some of the fabric of the pillow. I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it up with this. This is my thing. This is what I wanted, what I looked for. The reason I even found this company So essentially, uh, I've been using the Sutera pillow since about October of 2020, which means multiple washings, let's say every two weeks, uh, use every single night with the exception, as you might've heard on the update video, of about five to seven nights where I switched back to my old pillow. And that meant that this has, what, about six months of sleep on it and it absolutely looked like it. It had the pillings and the lint of all that time. And yet, about one minute with a lint rolled, 
uh, shaver system here. And it doesn't look exactly brand new, but it certainly looks a lot better than it did before. And something that I feel a lot less uh, bad about having on my bed if I have visitors over for any reason that they might be in the bedroom. Uh, so very much a success on the lint shaver. Very excited about keeping this around for the future. Uh, lint roller, we'll have to see uh, on how it works on different things like t-shirts. Luckily, I do have another thing to test it on, uh, a hoodie. So we're gonna try that out now. All right, so uh, we have a hoodie. This has been uh, generously donated by Corey Baker. Uh, you can find his YouTube channel, Corey Baker Filmmaker, right here. Uh, apparently this was also donated by uh, the RJ Reynolds company because uh, Corey is a smoker uh, and this has seen a lot of uh, wear and tear. Uh, I'm a little worried that it is a little older and it's seen some, a lot of wear. Maybe we're gonna have some damage, but I guess we'll see. Uh, hopefully, um, this is a gentle enough product to not cause any damage to this fabric. So let's uh, whip up this uh, shaver. We're gonna see what we got. So, obviously it's pulling up some of the uh, pillings from it, but this is obviously a much older piece of fabric than the Sutera pillow was. So it's taken a lot of the stuff off the surface, but I'm not sure it's gonna have that much of a visible difference on it than the pillow did, or like the pillow did. So we ran about half of it over. Again, that was just a quick minute, 30 seconds or so. Uh, I can tell you that tactically, it feels different. I can feel the pillings on one side that are now gone from the other side. Um, but uh, visually, this close, I can actually see the difference. I don't know if you'll be able to see that much difference on camera. Um, and I don't know that anyone who sees Corey wearing it would notice that much of a difference. Just because I don't know you can see the pillings, black on black pillings, as much as you can the lint and stuff on the white pillow. Um, just the same. Uh, we will try the, the other products, which are actually more made for clothing style fabrics. Uh, again, the lint shaver is more meant for furniture, like couches. It's meant for upholstery and those kind of products. So it really is focused on stuff like the pillow uh, that will have those big uh, pillings that, uh, that you can see on it. A lint shaver like this is much more uh, set for fabrics, uh, stuff that you're gonna wear. So um, it's a very delicate fabric. Uh, it's very important. So I'm going to use the 90 degree angle that they talked about in the, uh, in the, the card. Uh, let's see how this goes. All right, so I did about a quarter of it there with the uh, lint roller. I will say tactily, this feels much smoother than the portion that I did with the, sh with the uh, lint shaver. Uh, again, probably just because the product is actually made uh, for fabric like this. Uh, it feels cleaner, it feels newer somewhat, I guess we'll see. Um, but uh, let's just use this last little one on this little corner uh, of fabric here and we'll see uh, how that goes as well. Uh, again, this is just a mini version of the larger lint roller. It's meant that you can keep it in your pocket and take it around uh, the tide pen of lint rollers, if you will, uh, something that's meant to be more mobile and get into smaller areas. I'm actually using this to kind of get into this little corner area around the pocket. And it really did pull out a bunch of stuff from in there. And I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but with this one, at least it is not pulling off so much as it is kind of just pulling it together. And I've kind of made like a little little pile here of all the pillings that uh, you can take off. And I probably will just be able to take this off my hand. Oh, there we go. So again, tactically, this section that was done with the lint roller feels a lot better, a lot less rough than the section that was done with the shaver. Uh, I'm going to do just a little section and just feel and make sure it's not the fabric. And it's not, uh, it really does feel slightly different. Uh, so again, it's two different products. It's meant for two different things. I like the ease of the lint shaver. Um, I'm super lazy. So just being able to like turn it on and run it, uh, you then unscrew this cap, you dump out the lint that's inside, 
the pillings that are inside, screw it back on and you're ready to keep going. Um, it's a lot less effort to do that than it is to, you know, run the, the lint roller and uh, worry about paying more attention and, and uh, damaging something. So uh, I think that's really, that, that's really all there is to say. All right, so I did take a break there because I didn't want to break the thing and uh, I did want to test it just to make sure, not live. Uh, but uh, so all you have to do is you do just rotate the cap just slightly and then when you pop it off, you'll find all of those pillings and uh, the lint all tucked in there nicely, I guess, if you wanna use that term. Honestly, it looks like uh, your dryer. Uh, it's what's left in the dryer uh, in the little lint catcher afterward. And super easy, just collect that and toss it away. But that is uh, everything from the Zotero pillow and from the jacket that we just did. It's more than you would think it is. It's more substantial than you would actually think it is. It's a lot. Um, and, uh, I mean, I, there's not a lot more to say about it than that. It's a simple product, difficult to find in stores, at least around where I live. It's something that I was really looking for and I, I found one, I found one that works. So once again, you'll be able to find this at Lint Rolled. Uh, the website I'll put down in the, the link down in the show notes uh, where you can go and get this particular thing, which again is the travel pack. The Lint Shaver will run you up again about $22. The travel kit includes the lint shaver as well as the, the smaller and larger of the lint combs, uh, the lint rollers, lint rolled. Um, and it, again, $35 for that pack, 22 just for the shaver. They all serve kind of a different purpose. Uh, it's all involved in the same thing, keeping your clothes, keeping your, your life looking a little cleaner. Uh, I know I certainly will feel better knowing that my uh, pillow doesn't look like it's such a mess. Uh, again, thank you to everybody with the suggestions in the last video's comments. Uh, I was worried about damage, uh, and this way I can avoid doing that. And of course, I have more content to do yet another video. So, um, a big thank you to everybody who's checked out the videos in the last couple of months. Uh, I hope that they've been helpful in you looking for products that, uh, maybe have attempted to, uh, victimize you on Instagram as they have continued to victimize me. As I say, uh, I am in a position where I can buy products and try them out so that you don't have to. Uh, this video especially, uh, shout out to uh, Roberto, who is producing. You can find his channel right here. Uh, I'm helping him test out some of his equipment and he is directing for me today. So thank you, Roberto. Uh, but uh, we'll be back in a couple of days with uh, a new product, something new to unbox. But uh, thank you for joining me and uh, make sure you check out all the videos that I have on the channel, uh, this and so much more content. Thanks guys.